So Robert, we've gone down a bit of a rabbit trail there, just looking at the abomination of desolation, Laudato Si, this major event in time and its enormous significance. Um, now I want to look at events that have transpired since then. So the prophetic template indicated there would be three and a half years to the siege. Now on the 8th of the 3rd 2019, Pope Francis um, stated it's been three and a half years exactly since he went to America at the very time when he rolled out the call for the ecological conversion in other words for the world to convert to the new world religion ecological religion and um, uh, I've already shown this slide and shared a little bit about how the tw 1290 days have ended at the Queen's funeral. What I'd like to do now is just show a couple of pictures connecting to that just so that we can uh, visualize um, these events. So I'm going to flick over here to get to the first one. So here is Pope Francis on March the 8th 2019 at the Vatican with all representatives from the world's religions and the group was meeting at the Vatican March 7 to 9 to discuss the contributions religions can make to achieving the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals in a way that responds to the needs of the poor and respects the environment and so this on the template it was equivalent to the event of um, 70 AD where the siege began, the siege on Rome. And um, so I've written up the top here, ecological conversion call for the earth to convert to the new world pagan religion of creation, creation worship instead of the worship of the creator. Now, these people, obviously, I'm sure many of them, if they really realized what was going on, they would not be going along with it. And it's, you know, due to a lack of clarity on, on this issue. And um, I hope that this helps to bring some clarity. Now, the end of that um, 1290 day period, so the Bible says in Daniel chapter 12 that from this establishment of the um, abomination of desolation, from the start of its attack, there would be 1290 days. Now the Queen's funeral on the 18th of the 9th, 22, just happened to be the end of the 1290 days and it's so very fascinating that President Biden, US President Biden stated today the pandemic is over and if we understand the pandemic to be what it literally means if you break down the word pan is a nickname for the devil yes it means the globe but it is also a nickname for the devil and demic is a people group um, is he saying that this period is over and now there's going to be the push for the moral world order anyway just something to think about there so we're just looking at a photo of the queen just before she died on the 8th of september and here is a photo of the funeral on the 18th of the 9th, which I think I have already pointed out the significance of that date. And I've been watching this for some time now. I'm sorry that I haven't highlighted it before. I could talk for hours about this, but every major event has is either a 9-11 date or a 6-6-6 date, or if they can do it, it's a it's both. So it's got the number of the beast and the number of the Jesuits in it. And this just happens to be that kind of date um, as 18 is made up of three sixes and um, nine, 2022, each two, if it's broken down into two ones is an 11. And so you've got nine, 11, 11, 11. And so, yeah, it's a significant date. On this date, the US president said the pandemic is over. Now that could mean if this was an occult um, coded statement, he could actually be saying this is the start of the pandemic rule. So because they will always say the opposite, 
So what they say is the opposite to what they really mean. So this could mean that this is the beginning, then the rule is about to begin because on this day the focus turns to King Charles III who is the climate king and the first to announce the World Economic Forum Great Reset. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Um, it's also interesting to notice that the procession that led the way for Charles to be proclaimed king was led by a goat and a goat is always a symbol that is used for Satan um, and there's a big question mark there has been a big question mark um, about when the Queen was under um, threat um, she felt at some point and um, she went she was sick and went to hospital it just happened to be a Freemason hospital and a lot of people pointed out how that the nurse who you can see here um, the belt symbols that she had on her belt included the satanic pentagram star as well as the Freemasonry um, compass and square. You did mention that to me off camera and I felt that's unusual symbolism or heraldry to be mm. featured on a nurse's uniform. It's very unusual and as well the po um, sorry the Queen here is wearing red and black which are traditionally uh, colours that a Satanist will wear. In fact, they will, uh, their cars will be red or black. And um, so it seems like it was a nod from the Queen um, and she was taking protection um, uh, under, the, under this cover. So there's a lot of question marks at the moment as to how deep this rabbit hole actually goes. Okay, so we want to look a little bit ahead now, again at that timeline, and we're just focusing in on these things. Um, the end of this 1335 day uh, period is in November, in the very first week of November, around about the 2nd of the 11th, 22, if I've got my calculations right, and I don't want to, I don't want to lock it in 100%, I may not be you know, you, you keep researching these things and you often find out a bit more. But at the moment, that's my current understanding. Um, the prophecy states that the bridegroom arrives at this time. This is the time of the blessing. So it's fascinating that we see the United Nations conference happening with the um, Mount Sinai event which is repeating what happened when Israel was led out of Egypt um, across the Red Sea and to Mount Sinai where the actual wedding took place. So it was actually Jesus who was in the pillar of fire who led them out of Egypt, out of slavery, into freedom. Um, and he, was the, he came as the bridegroom. So we've got this whole template, this whole story is repeating again. But this time the enemy is is copying it if you can see what I mean so God right now is declaring freedom and calling his people out to the mountains um, and he's calling us there to be safe for protection for freedom so we can continue to love one another and so we can be safe from you know the, this trap and from the enemy's attacks but Satan has got his own version of this as you can see and um, if this represents the coming of the bridegroom and then now they're going to Mount Sinai, this represents the wedding where the, um, where the covenant is given. It was when the covenant was given that Israel entered into a marriage covenant with, with Jesus who was in the pillar of fire. Um, so this is all repeating again. Um, so the United Nations COP 27 conference starts on the 6th of the 11th 22 which I'd like to point out is also a 9-11 date if you turn the 6 upside down um, which you can do and you've got um, 9 then you've got 11 and then you've got 2 which is like another 11 and then 2 another 11 again there so you, but you've got it tripled so 
this is to the exponential power kind of thing um, 9-11 and which has got the Jesuit signature on it <laughs> and it's the Jesuits who created the eco-theology you know so we can nail all of these things um, and I'd like to highlight the fact that there's this um, blood moon the end of this tetrad that falls on the 8th of the 11th 22 the US election now I would not be surprised if um, they try to ferment um, civil war so that they can bring in other nations and we know that there is a uh, many warnings going out right now, natural news and info wars just today have been warning that um, World War Three is already here, it's underway, it's just been kept quiet from the peoples of the world. Um, Putin has declared war on the West and very likely at any point we could see an attack by Russia on America if they so chose.